Hey everyone, welcome to another Function Fridays brought to you by www.qtptutorial.net. I am so excited to have you all here today because we are going to bring you another amazing function that will enhance your automation careers. These functions are meant to increase your efficiency, they are meant to decrease your coding time and they are meant to make you much better automation engineers mainly because I do the coding for you and you just get to use it and enjoy so let me go ahead and start right away today's function is going to be called get file path what this function is meant to do is it takes an argument of the full file path that you give it and then it will return you the folder path minus the file name and the extension. Now, if you're confused, don't worry. We're going to design the function. Everything will be explained and I'm sure you will understand. I'm going to copy this so I don't have to retype it. And let's open up our favorite tool. QTP and let me go ahead and type this up. I'm going to pass it a file path. It's going to be the full file path of whatever file you want. Go ahead and clear it so that it returns nothing. This statement is going to allow me to proceed just in case there are any errors, like the file doesn't exist. Now, this will be the most complicated part, but I will be sure to explain, okay? So, this is one function. And we are done. This function is quick, simple, but super useful. And I actually got some help from Mr. Tarun Lalwani. I got it, this function from his book and modified it a little bit to my standards, but that is where I have learned a lot. Even being an expert, I always learn from that guy. He is the guru. He is a leader in the industry. And you can go ahead and actually see his book that I'm talking about on our website at www.qtptutorial.net slash resources. You can go and see his book. And if you want to expand your mind by a lot, you will be able to just by looking at his book. Every single page contains so much information that you probably never knew. And also, if you ever desire any of this code, it is available for free on our website. And even better, if you just subscribe with your email, you'll receive it in your inbox every single Friday for free. Anyways, so let me explain this function and continue along with the lesson. So what this function does is if, for example, I was working in this Yahoo folder and I had this database sheet. In here, let's say it contains some kind of data that I need to parameterize, okay? And what I want to do is use this data. I want to modify it. I want to put comments in there. And then I want to save it as a brand new file that will be unique so that then I can use it to report my results because I don't want to keep saving in here. I want to change stuff up and I want to save it so that I can keep track of what happened every single run. Okay, so for example, if I do this, get this function, and then pass it the file path, and then this file name, And then, let me go ahead and show you guys what it returns. 
just go ahead and run it with F5, the shortcut key, and check it out, guys. What it returned was this part minus the file name. So this is awesome because now what I can do is I can store this in some variable and use this file to whatever needs I want. And I can also have this file path. And this file path leads me to this folder where I'm working for the Yahoo project. And anything that I do in regards to the Yahoo project, I can go ahead and store it in this exact location. That's why this function is so amazing because it's simple, but it's so useful. And I promise you will use it every single day. So let me just explain you the code and we will wrap it up. So first thing I do is I make sure that this function returns nothing initially. And this statement right here allows us to continue if some error is thrown. So for example, if this path did not exist, QTP would throw an error and that would halt our automation. We don't want that. We just want to continue even if there is an error. And if there is one, what will return is a empty string. Okay. Now this part right here is the most complex and let me explain it to you guys. So what we start is with a statement called left. This will give us the left value of something. Okay. So if we look up left in help menu by hitting F1, we can see that there's a string and a length. So our string is this, okay, which is the file path. And our length is right here, which is all the calculation. Okay. Now, what is the length? Well, the length is we can actually see. Let's run it. Okay. So the length of what we want to get the left value of is so 27 characters in length. That is the starting length. And what do we want to subtract? So think this is the whole length right now. If we want to get just this, we need to subtract this. So this minus this equals this. Does that make sense to you guys? Simple arithmetic. Anyways, so we got the length of the whole string and now we just need to subtract this guy. And how do we subtract this guy? First, we have to reverse the string. So if you want to look at the reverse, It's just a string reversed, right? And then this guy will return me everything that is after. You can see it right here. Returns the position of the first occurrence of one string within another. So it's going to return me the first string that is separated by this. Okay, so what it's really returning is this last part. Okay, so what we got the full length minus this gives us our full length. Does that make sense to you guys? And then finish up, and this is what you get. All right, I hope that's clear piece of cake function, but super amazing. I am sure you guys will use it over and over and enjoy it. So anyways, I think I'm going to wrap it up here for today. I just wanted to say thank you all for tuning in. It's always a pleasure for me to know that you guys are taking some time out of your day to listen to our tutorials. And please feel free to leave any comments, questions, or concerns because we are here to help you and we need your assistance to let us know how we're doing. It will help us to deliver you more high quality educational videos based on the topics that you desire.
feel free to ask because I will deliver whatever you ask for. And don't forget, everything is available at qtptutorial.net. And we'll see you guys next time for the next Function Fridays, where I will bring you guys the sister of this function. Okay? Thanks, take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.